Okay, in this video, I will show TimelineJS uh, plugin that I created for PlayCalmas. We have been using this uh, on my games for a long time. I decided to release the open source version of it. Um, it's pretty easy to use and for UI ele elements, it's super useful. Um, you can just attach to any element or any object and then play with those variables to have a nice um, animations with also nice uh, easing. Um, there's a repo for it, uh, you can check it out, but basically you can just uh, get the TwinJS library from uh, original Play Canvas, um, uh repo and then uh, you can get the, my Timeline JS plugin and you can attach to any uh, object like this. Um, there are settings that you can uh, play with those settings, but let me show you how it works uh, quickly. So let's say we have a box here like this. And then what you can do is basically attach timeline JS to it. And then um, there are settings. Now I want to, let's say, create an animation where uh, when it when it's enabled, it will auto play, it will loop. Yo, yo, it's mean like uh, it goes uh, back and forth in animation timeline. So it, go, it will be yo, yo too. And I will uh, only animate position. And this is duration. You can only also change this. And I want to make it bounce, right? So uh, let's say, um, so it's at this zero point. Let's say it will jump to here, the desk position, and then it will go to zero. So it's gonna be like this, uh, zero to this. And then uh, whenever you uh, refresh page, you can see it. I mean, obviously, since it's bounce uh, out, um, easing is important. Um, you can do like different stuff like that. I think this isn't a way of doing a uh, bounce animation. I'm not sure, but uh, those terms are basically uh, correct in terms of easing. Okay, that's <laughs> that looks weird, but let me uh, try another thing, for example. Um, so let's say we want to scale it like this, uh, you know, and then um, go back to uh, 1, 1, 1 scaling, and then it could also work, but in this case, you need to disable position and then enable scaling, and it's gonna be like this. So if you want, you can also uh, disable yo-yo or loop, and it would just play once. And uh, for example, one, one use cases that I have um, for this um, timeline script, I attach it to pop-up screen, for example, and if it's disabled, it doesn't play animation, but when it's enabled, it plays animation like this, and when it's disabled again, it resets the timeline, and when it's enabled again, it plays again. It again. So it's uh, also useful in certain cases like this. For example, let's say you have um, an object on the screen like this, and it's attached to bottom of the screen like this, and then let's say when it's uh, enabled, it comes from this position, right? So what you wanna do is basically uh, make sure it goes there, which is like zero. So it, when it's enabled, it will go into, uh, into the scene like that. So let's just try it out. As you can see, it comes and we disable it. It's disabled and we enable it back. It plays the same animation. Super useful, uh, super easy to use. You can also use it for um, 3D objects as well. And uh, you can also do rotation, scaling, opacity. For example, let me show the opacity now. So let's say this is uh, opacity and I reset this value and the value will go zero. For example, when uh, I play the animation, as you can see, it goes like this, super useful. You can use for any entity on the scene uh, you can um, play with variables. I have different settings. You can uh, read the whole description here. So yeah, thanks for watching.